uh-oh, Ubisoft went woke. Oh, wait, they've been woke. Ha! <laughs> so, in an unsurprising, I'd say turn of events, but it's it's not a turn of events for Ubisoft. It's just kind of par for the course with Ubisoft now. They have inserted a black protagonist in feudal Japan. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this video. So they've talked about their next Assassin's Creed game. It's in Japan. You've got two protagonist options. One of them is a female Japanese woman, and the other one is a black samurai. Uh, they're trying to justify this, saying, oh, Yasuke is a real person. Oh, this is what's going on. There's just so much to unpack here and what's wrong with this. And the biggest issue is the fact that they're doing this for the wrong reasons. They're not doing this out of an organic story or something like that. Uh, those of us who, and, and they're always going to cry racism for anybody who doesn't like this, but we're sick of this stuff. We're also more sensitive to this stuff because of all the DEI, all of that, the diversity, equity, inclusion, all that stuff that has been rampant lately in the gaming industry and in entertainment media in general. Uh, it, it's just most of the time that we see stuff like this happening, we can expect that it's nothing organic. It's nothing creative. It's nothing of the sort. It is all for these woke points. And because a lot of us have seen the anime Afro Samurai, for example, my initial response is thinking of this is whenever they announced rumors of this and stuff, I was just like, hmm, I don't know. I mean, I liked Afro Samurai. You could make it work, but we already know with how everything has been going on and Ubisoft has already consulted with Sweet Baby Inc. before with their Valhalla, which I didn't even know that at the time when it first came out, I didn't even know what Sweet Baby Inc. was or whatever. I didn't even like Valhalla. I liked Odyssey, didn't like Valhalla. I only liked that mini game with the dice. I would play that, I could play that for hours, <laughs> but I digress. So anyway, now they're trying to act like, oh wait, but this is Yasuke, known widely as Japan's first black samurai, this, that, and the other. Well, they get fact-checked on that because that is not the case. Uh, Lorena here, she says Yasuke was no samurai. We have Kongman here who shares this uh, documented life in Japan. It's important to note that there are no historical writings or evidence that Yasuke was considered a samurai. He was never given a thief or referred to as one in any writings. Most of our knowledge of his life comes from these messages written by missionaries and locals and so on and so forth. So uh, this very much just seems like a just an opportunity for them to throw in uh, you know, just they just want to put in a black dude where he, it, it, it's that's what's crazy to me is that they've had opportunity to actually give a black male protagonist in an organic way if they've wanted to. Uh, we have seen one in a spinoff standalone from Black Flag, apparently, which I didn't play it. Um, and then what was that black female character from the Vita? after Assassin's Creed 3, the, the PS Vita uh, version. So it's like, okay, so the the times that you could have had black lead character, you you only use them for spinoff stuff. This is why it makes it seem so not organic from Ubisoft at this time. They didn't have enough faith in those characters or in the stories to actually give them their own story. And when you talk about something like Assassin's Creed, which has had diverse leads before, nobody cared, nobody was, if you want to call people racist, people were playing Assassin's Creed games with Middle Eastern protagonists. People were playing Assassin's Creed games with a Native American protagonist, so on and so forth. If there was a good Assassin's Creed game where it made sense to have the main character be a black dude or even a black woman, if it was a good game and it made sense, people would play it. But, and this is also another thing because there's this article from this a senior writer who says there's more than enough games out there to be or with white men as the only playable characters do better it's just like how retarded are you making yourself sound here when nobody is com nobody is asking for a white protagonist they are asking for a japanese protagonist in a japanese game it's just 
how how was that even oh well you're just mad because he's not a white guy seriously that is always instead of just saying hmm let's take a step back and see if any of this criticism is valid it's always oh you racist oh you racist you just wanted to be a white man i mean most assassin's creed protagonists are not white men if you really count them all i mean i don't know if i'd say most because there's off the top of my head i would say it's pretty balanced but yeah, people never complain. They didn't complain that Altair wasn't a white dude. Who complained that Altair, the very first assassin in Assassin's Creed, who expected him to be a white dude? Nobody, nobody cared that he was a ra an Arab. So it's like, why are you trying to make this a thing now of, oh, they just, yeah, you're just mad because it's not a white dude. We have Grums here who says, um, I'm Asian and Ubisoft decided to erase me and replace me in a game about my own country. Isn't that what they would say if they made Assassin's Creed sh Shadows a white dude? Why are they okay with it when they picked a black dude? So freaking on point. So true. And then I would have loved, I, I would have been so on board to play Assassin's Creed with a, an Asian dude, but... I'm a weeb, so <laughs> I'm a weeb. I think missed opportunity that they usually most of the protagonists are pretty hot. So it's like we missed our chance, missed our chance at this hot Japanese assassin. I mean, this guy's good looking, but he's not. He's he's not in the setting. He's not Japanese for a Japanese game. My, my weeb dreams are crushed. All right, so we have this we have Kaida who made this video so on point because apparently none of us are allowed to have opinions so they at least should be listening to a black guy here on it let's hear what he has to say oh hold on I think I have it muted now I'll show you <laughs> let's listen to what he has to say so we got our first look at the new Assassin's Creed game and I gotta say man I I'm not impressed I'm actually just really annoyed right now we have two main protagonists, one female, one male, just like Odyssey. We're gonna be using Nao. I hope I said that right. A female. And I liked Odyssey, I will admit. I liked Odyssey. I, I do think a lot of people still want Assassin's Creed to get more to its roots and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I did think Odyssey was good. I didn't like Valhalla though. Male Japanese character. And for the male character, they're gonna be using Yasuke. Now, I'm annoyed because they're using Yasuke, and I'm gonna tell you why. Yasuke is what they want to say is the first black Japanese samurai when in all actuality he was not even a samurai. He was a retainer. So he wasn't even a full-blown samurai. So he knows. I don't know any of the story. But still, it's like that just shows even their backstory that they're trying to make an excuse for. Oh, but, but he was real. So we're actually doing something real. We didn't just shoehorn him in there for no reason. They did. And for all of the characters they could have used for Japan, all these kind of different people they could have picked from, they picked Yasuke. Why do they pick Yasuke? Because he's black. So in context, that doesn't matter to me. Because in all the Assassin's Creed games, every single character has been of some kind of different race and nationality. So that doesn't matter to me. That's fine. But you have to understand what day and age we're in. You have to understand exactly. the kind of social shit that they- Exactly. And I love to see- him speaking out on this because Ubisoft can't say, they can't say anything to him about this. They can't call him. Oh, well, they, they probably will. This is what all the woke people do. Oh, why why do you just hate your internally racist? Just like when I speak out against any of this retardation going on or if they want to cry misogynist for this, that, or the other. And I'm like, wait a minute, this makes no sense. This isn't misogynistic for a game character to be attractive, for her to be beautiful, so on and so forth. Well, then I just get called an internalized misogynist or i get called a pick me <laughs> so yeah that's a thing but yeah original plan behind assassin's creed shadows that featured japanese monk as the main character so apparently this wasn't even going to be a thing they weren't gonna have a, the black samurai yasuke however you pronounce his name <laughs> they weren't gonna have him there they just added that later and i don't understand because it was just for dei points and diversity and this and that they could have got that already with the 
Japanese dude. It just, nobody is winning in this situation. Look, we already have this tweet. For those upset about Yasuke, listen, if y'all hate black people or anything black contaminating your media, then just say that. Don't make up a bunch of excuses for your racism. Why do they got to pretend like this is a racist thing? Absolutely stupid. Nobody would care if he was a black guy in a game that it made sense to have a black guy as lead character. Nobody would give a crap. Historically, nobody has complained about the protagonist, the main protagonist of Assassin's Creed games when they fit their setting. Nobody has complained about that. But you're going to cry racism on this and in this case. Yeah, well, if they made a game with the setting where it made sense for them to have a black lead and they made him white instead, would you, I'm pretty sure you'd be upset about that. But here we are. <laughs> so anyway, just some more gaming industry shenanigans going on. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. And if you want to catch me read the Bible to you, you can watch my Bible channel, Bible Time with Melanie Mac. And then also I have my Go Boom Live here every Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So... Anyway, thank you all again for hanging out. I will catch you next time. And in the meantime, go boom.